the emotion, the joy, the sheer joy of all of those amazing women. The, the women, wonderful? yeah, there are some amazing women in the church, there really are. But the joy was not just restricted to the church. Those first few weeks after the announcement of my appointment, um, I had thousands, thousands of letters and cards and emails from women in the church, but also mm -hmm. from people outside the church of other faiths, of no faiths, all who wanted to get in touch and say what a good thing this yeah. was and how this story had touched them. No, it's it wonderful. It's, it's breaking down barriers all of the time, and that's very much part of what you want to do as well, isn't it? It is. I mean, one of the wonderful things about this past year has been the bridges that have been able to be built. Um, between those in the church who hold different opinions, uh, but between the church and other organisations and communities mm -hmm. and those who want to work for the common good for no, us. Exactly. It's great to be able to work in partnership. Of course, because in these troubled times, we, we, we do have to extend the hand of friendship to all different kinds of religions, you know, including Islam, and we have to do that. It's really important. And, and I see someone like you, because you're such a trailblazer, as being a really important part of, 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 of that. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a civil engineer and Did you? build bridges. <laughs> right, That's wow. what I wanted to do. Okay. I wanted to, <laughs> to build bridges, and um, I never quite got to do that physically. But yeah, um, you're doing it now. But in in different ways, in terms mm. of uh, community building and relationships between people, um, I do think that a key part of of what we're for as bishops is to build bridges. No, very much so. And also, you, you know that, that, that people attending church is declining, especially amongst young people. And it's about trying to reach out to them as well, I would think, and say, look, this is really relevant to you. Well, my conviction is, as you'd expect me to say, is that the story of, of Jesus is good news for everybody, regardless of their age or their background mm. um, or what their life circumstances are. But the church being able to actually communicate that in ways that people can hear and understand and respond to, that's a task that we have ahead mm. of us. It has been good this year to, to be able to travel around and to meet some remarkable young people mm. um, who are responding to... Uh, the story of the Christian faith and choosing uh, to live their lives in ways that contribute to their local communities. We often do down our young people, but actually there are some really good stories out there of youngsters doing yeah. remarkable things and getting stuck in. I couldn't agree with you more. Sometimes young people are demonised in a way that's incredibly unfair. Yeah. The ones that are doing good jobs, you never really hear from them, which, is, which, which just isn't right. And do you find that a lot of women are saying, well, looking to you and saying, you know what, Libby's done it. Maybe I can too. Maybe not to aspire to be a bishop, but just to be better in whatever job it might be that they're doing. One of the wonderful things that's happened this year is to uh, have been asked to sit for portraits, um, which, is, which was uh, slightly unexpected. Um, uh, but uh, I decided to say, to say yes. Um, and so uh, my university has, has commissioned a portrait. Um, there's a portrait going up in, um, in my cathedral. Um, there have been photographic portraits, part of projects, photographic mm. portraits. And the reason I said yes is not because I think it matters that I'm on somebody's wall for the rest of forever, mm. um, but for exactly that thing, that actually it matters that women are visible in places where previously there have only been men. And it's important mm. that, not necessarily my contribution, but that women's contribution is recognised and acknowledged and that women have something to look at and to say, mm. do you know... Maybe I could. No, oh, absolutely. Do you think we will get to the day when it will be maybe not commonplace, but people won't be saying, oh, the first or the second or, or whatever. It will just be a bishop. Well, that is, <laughs> that's that is—that's been a really good news story of this past year, mm. Lorraine, is that um, I was the first and, uh, you know, that is something that mm. I, I'm going to be always. I will have been the one who was first. But in the 12 months since my appointment um, in December 2014, there were 16 appointments of bishops in the yeah. Church of England. Exactly half of them were women. Wow. It is a new mm. normal. This is how the church now works and that's exactly how it should be every one of us women or men wherever we come from made in the image of god reflecting his glory we all have something to contribute and it's really important it's really encouraging mm. that actually we've shifted to a new place the new normal i like that Libby, thank you so you're much. so welcome lovely it's to lovely to be with you thank, thank you. you lorraine